Welcome hobby friends to another painting basics video. It should be the last painting basic video as I run out of topics to cover. This means that sporadically I will cover some techniques, but it is time to move into painting itself. Take also into consideration that apart from a few tests more or less a year ago, I have never used decals. And I would like to consider this as a tough lesson paved by mistakes and maybe even humiliating results. All is vid visible in the video itself. Comments that will help me in the future are as always more than welcome. Feel free to write your approach and history with decals. I am a noob in the decal business and I want to tackle this as a novice would. There will be three parts as I found three approaches to applying decals. Those will be using plain water, Vallejo decal fix and decal softener, and micro set and micro sole. I would like to thank RD Miniatures for suggesting this topic. His comment was spot on and you have my gratitude friend. Subscribe please to his channel and help him grow on YouTube in our community. He does amazing unboxing and painting videos and is a passionate to his Warhammer core. Cheers mate! And once again people don't forget to subscribe to his channel. I have seen a few videos on YouTube of people applying decals using different techniques and I thought that using them on shoulder pads should be pretty hard, as they are non-linear egg-shaped surfaces and should create a lot of problems. And I am as always up for a challenge. Are you? An idiot sandwich. I have chosen 9 shoulder pads. They will be divided into 3 methods of applying decals. Using water, Vallejo products, microset and microsole. Each group will have 3 different chapter logos. And why not? This means that by the end of the video I will have 9 shoulder pads done using different products. My approach will be always the same apart from the product specific job that has to be done. Prepare the pads, cut out the decals, use the products, sponge the water out with a slightly moist paper towel. At the end, when they will dry off, I will also apply a few layers of matte medium. The shoulders themselves will be painted in the Night Lord, Ultramarine and Blood Angels colors. Night Lord blue with AK Old Gold, Ultramarine blue with AK Old Gold and Mephiston red with Vallejo black for rims.
Now I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I didn't read the instructions, just watched a few videos on how to apply decals. It makes much more sense while putting this video together. Apply the micro set on the surface where the decal will go. Put the decal on the surface and place it with care. Dry the area with a slightly wet paper towel and more or less after 5 to 10 minutes apply a bit of microsol and remove any irregularities and air bubbles. Using water for decals should be much easier and more or less self-explanatory. Just put the decal into water or like I did in a wet palette. Additionally, I damped my brush in water and gave it a wet smear with my brush. Afterwards, I just placed the decal and used a slightly wet paper towel to dry and place the decal in place. I just don't know why, but the Vallejo products just seemed not to work for me. The other thing is that, like I mentioned previously, I just didn't read the manual and just gave it a go. What I was supposed to do here is use the decal fix and put a thin coat on the surface, where the decal should land. Afterwards the decal needs to be watered and placed on the surface. Remove any excess water with a slightly wet paper towel. Wait a few minutes and apply a thin coat of decal softener. Remove any air bubbles and irregularities. Also, according to the instructions, it helps to apply gloss varnish before starting the process as it should smoothen the surface. You can also use matte varnish if wanted at the end. And there you go, my first ever attempt at multiple decals on a very irregular surface. It was a great learning experience, as all of those videos are supposed to be for me. It shows how much knowledge I still lack, and I hope it will be helpful to all of you to understand how those products work. This view is not perfect, and in a few seconds I will show the shoulder pads sorted by Space Marine chapter next to each other. Hope this view of the shoulder pads will help a bit with determining which ones or one came out the best. The lesson for me is that it is not that easy as it seems and I will definitely practice a bit more before applying a decal to any of my minis. Thanks a lot everyone for watching and see you on the next one. Cheers, bye! <laughs>